I wanted to take this time while I'm getting big red washed to be like, what's going on with naturally aspirated V6s, you know? Are they dead? Are they dying? I mean, I bought this when it was at like 32,000 miles used, one owner. It's a 2000 Eclipse GT V6 3 liter. Hopefully you can hear me over this. I thought this might be a good idea just to do it while, uh, you know, multitask, trying to get it done while I'm going through the car wash. But anyways, I mean, hopping into this versus the Subaru and going back and forth, I noticed something. I was like, you know what? There's not too many. It might be a bit loud right here, so hold on. <laughs> it might be quite a bit loud, but um, yeah. Okay, I think now it's good. So what I was saying was, I don't think there's too many naturally aspirated V6s left. Be it a coupe, uh, a sedan. I mean, there's plenty of SUVs. And speaking of which, I don't think I've ever seen or ever driven a naturally aspirated V6 uh, hatchback. So yeah, hopefully this comes out good. I'm talking loud enough to go over the machines. Like I said, I thought this would just be a good time to do it, but. Yeah, so what do you guys think? Is the naturally aspirated V6 dead? Um, I know with the emission standards and there's four bangers that can get the same power as a V6, like how my Subaru is. is I mean, it puts down power that a V6 should put down. Like when, when this Mitsubishi first came out, right? When it first came out, it had 205 all around. 205 horsepower, 205 pound-feet of torque. Um, with that being said, since it's about 17 years old, you know, it's probably down to about maybe a buck 75 on a good day. Maybe even, maybe even 180, you know, with parasitic loss and all that stuff, right? So yeah, I'm gonna do a quick walk around of her. She's for sale. Um, still not sure if I'm gonna keep her or not, but if I do, just give you guys a quick look at her. If anyone's interested, just got her washed. Hopefully I don't get a YouTube copyright thing because of the whole music playing in the background. So yeah, she's pretty clean. Like I said, one owner, garage kept. I'm taking pretty good care of her. She stays in the garage when I use the Subaru. But uh, yeah, there it is. V6 if you need to see it again. Original miles, like I said, they bought it at nine miles. I got it picked up at uh, 32 and I put uh, roughly 20,000 since it's been the daily driver uh, Like I said, I kind of want to keep it But at the same time, I can't drive two vehicles just like you can't wear two pairs of shoes you dig so Anyways, the conversation was this just for those who skipped all the way towards the end um, Is naturally aspirated v6 on the way out and everything's gonna be turbocharged four-cylinder or turbocharged uh, V6s what about that good old-fashioned? Naturally aspirated V6 roar. All right, I'm gonna catch y'all next one. I got some shit to do. Peace.